can you sum up everything we talked about here today in 15 seconds? Genetically engineered foods are on the market only because the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has covered up the warnings of its own scientists about their unique, unique risks and lied about the facts and broken U.S. food safety law. Important pillars of the scientific establishment, including uh, eminent professors at leading universities and eminent institutions such as the UK Royal Society and the US National Academy of Science have not upheld science, have actually allowed disseminated misinformation in the name of science and have sullied the standards of science, sullied their own integrity. If the FDA had told the truth and if the all the pillars of the scientific community had communicated the facts fairly and accurately, genetically engineered foods would not be on the market anywhere. And the tremendous resources that have been directed to them would have been redirected to uh, very safe and sustainable and healthful modes of farming. What's the one thing I need to do today? In regard to genetically engineered foods, I would say decide that you and your family are no longer going to eat these abnormally risky foods, and uh, read labels, get educated, and be informed. Because uh, I've been avoiding GMOs for many years, and uh, I'm very healthy and vigorous, and uh, you don't have to sacrifice anything uh, except risky foods. Why did you feel it was important to come here and speak at the Real Truth About Health conference? Well, because as the name implies, this conference is interested in the real truth and it allows people like me who understand truths that have been distorted to have uh, a good forum to speak and then to widely disseminate the facts. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And uh, I had spoken at a conference in 2015 and I was delighted to be invited to come again. And I'll be delighted to come uh, in future years as well because this conference uh, is doing a great service to the world. And uh, I, I was very happy to hear that the subscribers to the YouTube channel have been growing, accelerating, and, and uh, I think that's great because we need to get the public, not here just here in North America, but around the world, informed about the hazards, the risks of genetically engineered foods, and the risks of pesticides, and so many other things that are happening that are endangering the health of uh, people in this world. And they have to be, because really, it's only through informed consumers that major changes are going to happen. As I mentioned earlier in this interview, GMOs are not are, are off the market, primarily and in, in, fundamentally in the European Union, not because of the good graces uh, of the responsible attitude of the European Commission and the European Food Safety Association. It's only because the European media back in the late 90s reported some research that showed problems and the public became concerned and they made it clear to the food, food uh, manufacturers and especially the food distributors, the stores, we're not gonna buy this stuff. And that's why these foods are labeled well in Europe and off the market. And that's why they're on the market in the US because the media has not reported it and the, uh, the public has been bamboozled. If people want to learn more about your work, where should they go? They should uh, look for my book, Altered Genes, Twisted Truth, How the Venture to Genetically Engineer Our Food to Subverted Science, Corrupted Government, and Systematically Deceived the Public, a book for which Jane Goodall wrote the uh, foreword, and, and she has hailed it as, without doubt, one of the most important books of the last 50 years. They can also go to the website of the Alliance for Biointegrity, the organization I founded in direct, www.biointegrity.org, B-I-O-integrity.org. Those would be two very good ways. There's a lot of good information on that website, and there will be more in coming months.